So I just got some super caps from Ian. They're, I think they're 500 ferrets or something like that. But either way, there are 1,900 amps out. I just put this, uh, made this little sort of plastic box just so they wouldn't get messed up because I am going to be slotting them right in here and securing them to here and that sort of area because I actually have nowhere else I can put it. So um, as the car just chills, I, it just generally goes down to about 12 volts because the battery's on its way out and it's like a 110 amp battery or something, so it's really expensive to replace. So it's actually cheaper for me to get these. And I'll show you how it starts at the moment. I'll right, try to be as quiet as I can. Ready, set. It's not too bad, a bit of a roo, 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 but it's still pretty good. I did just know an oil change, so it's a bit better than it was, but I'll, uh, I'll install the caps and I'll start up and see how it sounds. So super caps are installed right here. I just put them uh, in the engine bay. It seems to be really the only place I can put it and it's still totally clear of everything. It's not touching any pipes or anything, which is good. I don't know how hot these might get. So it's good that it's not touching them. It's pretty secure in there. Connected to the main positive and I just connected to the frames negative there. So um, the battery is a slight bit lower than it was before because I, um, you know, a millisecond started it and then turned it off and the lights have been on so let's see how it starts if there's, if there's any difference that is definitely a difference that's awesome that's definitely a bit faster I'll uh, put them side by side now so you can hear the difference that's cool I'm glad I put them in and um, yeah so a lot of the time I see so like I'll, uh, I'll turn this off actually and then I'll turn this on. It's my inverter. Oh, there's nothing connected, so it's not going to make a difference. It's the inverter under the seat. So sometimes I forget to turn that off, or it just like stuffs up because there's so much load going through it. It just, I don't know, it has a brain fart. It doesn't turn off. And um, it turns off automatically at like, I don't know, it's like 10.5 or 11 volts. It's really low. Either way, though, last time I forgot about it. It um, I tried to start my car, and it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So I think the, uh, even at 11 volts or 10.5, I think the super caps should be able to punch it through and help it start pretty well. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend them and I'll, uh, I'll hopefully never have to worry about dodgy batteries again. And I've heard that people have actually, um, just been in the middle of nowhere, batteries died on their car and, um, they had like a solar panel in the back and just trickle charge it for like a little bit just to get the super caps up enough to, um, you know, give that massive punch and, uh, yeah, they've gotten away with just having super caps. How awesome is that? Anyway, that's them. And I, I originally wanted to put it under the seat, but there was no space because of the whole like electric seats move every which way, up, down, left, right, the whole deal. And they've got this uh, metal beam there, so I couldn't do that. So I was really struggling to think where, where they're going to go because like, as you can tell, they're freaking massive. Look at the size of them. Oh my God, this is a hand. So they're like, like 200 bit hands. Yeah, so that's... Oh my god, that's my hand from one side to the end. See, so yeah, it's about, well, it's about it's about two hands height. It's average hand, I don't know. But um, yeah, and about like maybe one and a half hands wide. The dimensions are on the thing. But uh, yeah, that's, that's them. And uh, definitely recommend them. Check them out.